Hey, it's our Bulbasaur lover here doing another top 10 video. This time I am doing top 10 rock types. Now, rock's an interesting type. I mean, it was like half of the first gyms have been rock. Well, I guess one less than half now with Viola being bug, but Brock, Roxanne, and uh, Raleigh, no, Rorik were all rock types, and then there was uh, the Silent Chili Crest, uh, Charon, and Faulkner, and now Viola, but, so let's get things started. Number 10 is Aerodactyl. Now, every single uh, fossil Pokemon has been a rock type. Aerodactyl is kind of a weird one. It's not really a fossil. It's from an amber, I think. Old amber. The rock flying type, which is a weird combination. I can't think of any others besides Aerodactyl. And it's kind of my throwaway Pokemon because I can't think of stuff when I do these. <clears throat> Number nine is Tyranitar. Tyranitar is interesting to me because it evolves from Larvitar and Pupitar, which are ground rock types, which is like the most common type. <clears throat> but Tyranitar is a dark rock type, which is different. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Number eight is Roggenrola. Another kind of throwaway. I just like it because it's really cute and it's a weird Pokemon. I always hate it there, though in my black and white because like, I always use like razor leaf to take a guy in one hit but a sturdy would make it not go down so number seven is Shuckle. Shuckle is a defensive tank. It's the highest defense of any Pokemon. Highest special defense of any Pokemon. I find that interesting. Yeah that's about it. That's all I got for that one. It's a defensive wall. I've never used it. Might use it sometime. Number six is Geodude. Geodude is, in my opinion, the iconic rock type. It's just a ball with arms. But I don't know. Every gym leader, I think, had it. That was a rock gym leader. Brock had a Geodude. Roxanne had one in Ruby and Sapphire and two in Emerald. Rorark, I think his name is, had one. But yeah, this is the iconic rock type. Number five is Rhyhorn. The Pokemon you can ride, which is this picture. But it is... I don't know. I just am going to like it because you can ride it in mountainous regions on X and Y. If you look, there's a, quite a few mountains to the coastal Kalos and, and the mountainous Kalos, which is kind of interesting. Then there's that castle that looks like it's surrounded by a mountain. Okay, number four is Terrakian. I really like these um, legendary swordsmen. I don't know what they are. There's the beasts, there's the birds, there's the golems, the beings, and the gods or something. Oh, that's weird. Gen 5 had two of the three types. But, um, I like this one because of its odd typing. But it's just on here because I like those. I had Verizon, and I think, in my grass one. All that fun stuff. Oh, I didn't have Verizon. Oh, well. Number three is Suga Wugo. No, no. I've always liked Sugo Logo, probably because it reminded me of grass Pokemon, because I'm a used to be a weird grass idiot. But I don't know. I like his bond a lot. I like his pre evolution too. Number two is Onyx. Onyx I feel is the other iconic rock type, the rock snake Pokemon, Brock and Roar Arcade. But I don't know. I just really like his this one of the longest Pokemon, I think Steelix is like the second longest next to Whale Lord, but Ooh, Whale Lord's gonna look cool in X and Y. Yeah. Um and last is a fossil Pokemon Lily. Lily is a grass type, and I like it a lot better than Cray Dilly. But yeah, that's I like it a lot, so 
it's on here. Alright, I'm done, so, um, yeah. Don't get hit in the head with a rock. 